Today we're talking about 7 exciting secrets hidden in everyday things. Number 7. Do this with a plastic lid on a coffee cup. If you've ever ordered coffee to go, you might have noticed that the plastic lid has a small protrusion in the center. This is designed to fit snugly over the sip hole to prevent spills, but it also serves another purpose. It can double as a coaster. If you're in a hurry and don't have time to grab a separate coaster, flip the lid over and place your coffee cup on top. The lid will catch any drips or spills and protect the surface underneath. This is especially useful if you're at work or in a public place where you don't want to leave a mess. Not all coffee cups have this feature. It's typically found on cups with a hot cup logo or other indication that they're designed for hot beverages. So next time you order coffee to go, will you save yourself from a potential spill? How often do you take coffee to go? Number 6. The hole in the center of a donut has a meaning. The hole in the center of a donut is not just for decoration, but serves a practical purpose in cooking. Donuts are typically fried, and the hole in the center allows the heat to penetrate the dough more evenly. Without the hole, the donut's center would take much longer than the outer edges, resulting in an unevenly cooked and potentially undercooked or overcooked donut. Of course, there are donuts without a hole, but they're cooked differently. Do you prefer donuts with or without a hole? Number 5. The 57 on the Heinz Ketchup has a hidden meaning. The 57 on Heinz Ketchup bottles is not just random. If you've ever struggled to get ketchup out of a bottle, you know how frustrating it can be to shake and tap it. However, if you look closely at the bottle, you'll see that the number 57 is imprinted on the neck of the bottle near the label. That's the sweet spot on the bottle that you should tap to help the ketchup flow more easily. If you tap the bottle on the 57, the vibrations will help loosen the ketchup and allow it to flow more smoothly. This works best if you tap the bottle at a 45 degree angle rather than straight up and down. If you're still having trouble getting the ketchup out, you can also try heating the bottle up slightly by running it under warm water or leaving it in the sun for a few minutes. Enjoying the video so far? Then make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons! Number 4. The numbers on a credit card have a specific meaning. Yes, the numbers on a credit card are not just random digits. They actually have a specific meaning and purpose. The first digit on a credit card identifies the major industry that issued the card. For example, 4 is typically used for Visa cards, while 5 is used for MasterCard. The following 5 to 6 digits represent the bank or financial institution that issued the card. The following digits are the account number, varying in length depending on the issuer. The final digit on the card is known as the check digit. This digit is used to verify the authenticity of the card. It's calculated using a specific algorithm that considers all other digits on the card. Do you believe it works? Leave your credit card number in the comment section. Just kidding. Never share your credit card number with anyone. Number 3. The little dimples on a golf ball have a specific meaning. Yes, the little dimples on a golf ball serve a fundamental purpose. They help the ball travel farther. When a golf ball is hit, it creates a layer of air around it. This layer of air, the boundary layer, can create a lot of drag on the ball and slow it down. The dimples on the golf ball help to disrupt this boundary layer by creating a turbulent airflow around the ball. This reduces the drag on the ball, allowing it to travel farther and with greater accuracy. The number and pattern of dimples on a golf ball can vary between manufacturers. Some golf balls have as few as 300 dimples, while others can have over 500. In addition to reducing drag, the dimples on a golf ball can also affect how it spins and reacts when it hits the ground. Golfers may choose a specific type of golf ball based on their individual playing style and the course conditions they'll be playing on. Have you ever played golf? Is it indeed a sport for rich people only? Number 2. Hidden Message in Google Logo Legends say colors in Google's logo are arranged in a specific order and represent something meaningful. Like these colors represent the numerical values of the letters in the word Google when converted to binary code. However, according to Google, the choice of colors for the logo is simply based on what looked good. The company was founded in 1998, and at that time the web was still relatively new and uncharted territory. The founders of Google, Larry Page and Sergey Brin, wanted a playful logo that conveyed a sense of fun and a professional look. The six colors they chose blue, red, yellow, blue, green, and red were inspired by the color palette of a children's toy called Buckyball. The colors were arranged in a visually pleasing pattern, with the two O's in Google represented by the same shade of blue. Do you know any other theories about the Google logo? Number 1. Why is there a smile in the Amazon app? Have you ever wondered why there's a smile in the Amazon logo? 
According to Amazon, this smile represents the company's commitment to providing excellent customer service. The company wanted to convey that shopping on Amazon should be a positive, enjoyable experience, and this smile was a way to do that. But there's another meaning behind it. The arrow that appears beneath the smile is also significant. It starts with A and ends with Z, symbolizing the vast array of products that Amazon sells. Everything from A to Z. Devil hides in the details. What would you like our next video to be about? Let us know in the comments section. Remember to like, share, and subscribe so you can enjoy the excellent content we send your way.